CEOs of the media, we play in the mobile space, we build mobile services. I hope to give a perspective having interacted with all three facets, um, the money men, the government, uh, and just the trials and tribulations of trying to run a tech business in a very difficult um, environment. I'm Karim Kifadis, currently the business manager for VMA across Southern Africa. Uh, I have previous experience working with startups, so it's basically a combined view on what is startups vis-a-vis -vis what guys and it is. David Dono, I am a marketer, I run a digital marketing agency called Wala Digital. My background has been in uh, MNCs, uh, spent some seven years with HPs and five plus years with Microsoft, so I kind of get a picture on both sides of the My name is Dana Wendo, I'm a founder and CEO of Investor Capital. Investor Capital is a financing company, we finance small, medium-sized businesses, we've been able to create new markets around the financing services area. We also play in the area of uh, private equity uh, trading, financial services, particularly targeted to banks across the continent. And I hope that uh, as we engage today, hopefully I'll bring some sort of perspective of how you need to shape your company or your entrepreneurial skills towards a company that can be invested in, or a company that can attract investment. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Mike Mashari. I'm the founder and CEO of a company called Seven Seas Technologies. We are a large integration company uh, with offices in multiple parts of Africa. We have gone through the whole life cycle of raising money through VC, through private equity, and now we are raising an additional round of capital and we are growing our business in Africa. And what I plan to bring to the market or to this discussion is the challenges we face going to Africa, especially knowing that we, we, do, not, we do not get the same opportunities in Kenya. And yet, when you go to Africa, some of those countries insist that we have to team up with local companies. So I'll probably bring a perspective on that, and also in terms of talent management, in terms of how do we retain talent, especially in these markets where the multinationals tend to be the same people competing for the same kind of people we, which we, we employ. I'm not sure why he's passing the mic. <laughs> My name is Gitura Wanina. I work for the Vision 23rd Deliver Secretary. Director for the social and the political theater. Uh, I'm here perhaps to see how government doesn't facilitate to do what you do. Thank you. Uh, morning. My name is uh, Kariji Muragumrevi, a friend of ICT board and a friend of the youth. My name is Bob Kubo, chief of the Kenya ICT board, a state corporation responsible for sector development and implementation in the ICT space. First of all, um, Brian has asked me to thank you for coming uh, and just to appreciate the fact that having put this together in three nights, uh, we want to thank all of you. Uh, you just so you can feel refreshed, you need to, you need to clap for yourselves for being here early morning on Friday. His name is Sam Gishuro. Sam Gishuro runs the NILA which many of you did not even know about before you came here. The NILAB is an incubation space. Uh, just to give you some statistics to set the scene. Some started this, this incubator seven months ago. 25 companies are being incubated. 12 of them have got funding worth 15 million shillings in their businesses already from, uh, from, from the market. So you need to appreciate that people are really doing uh, interesting. And I thought this is a very suitable venue uh, to have this discussion because uh, people always talk about the fact that entrepreneurs don't get support and I think Sam is testimony to, to that support. Across here, on the other side is the, is the IHUB which some of you have heard about which is another incubation space. Uh, when I was trying to invite some of you, uh, I was being told IHU or NIHU and I thought it's probably nice to just spend a bit of time on that matter. I also want to acknowledge the fact that we have a lot of our staff here our head of procurement is, is in this room somewhere. In case you ask a question that is contrary to, to something that you would appreciate, I don't want to point her out because uh, what happened, the, the discussion now will shift. And uh, this is the uh, Fabians. Um, I want to acknowledge some people who are part of the multinational partnership that we work with. That is um, 
just walking in now, is uh, one of the protagonists of the debate, Mr. Tony Mwai, who tell me one of the ideas in Africa. Uh, we have Ken Mwai, who is a general manager for uh, HP. We have uh, Andrew uh, Waititu, who is head uh, SAP. And then we have uh, Lante, who is uh, one of our local companies. We have uh, Gosto Miko. We have um, uh, John Waiboshi, who is a very close friend of the IHUB. And then we have some people who are not in tech. We have, um, we have uh, sorry, before I forget, I can't, I'm not going to mention all the names, and I'll, and I'll mention the names as we go along. We have uh, the chairman of Kitos, who is um, uh, Ted Betty. And seated behind him is uh, an interesting addition to the tech scene, a very active blogger, CEO of Resolution Health, which is not, which is not a tech company, but a tech enabled company. Um, Karibu Sana. Uh, maybe you need to wait because some of you, some of you see your Twitter, but they don't. They don't know. And then we have an active blogger, Robert Yame, who is here. Robert. And on the Twitter, he, he, he calls himself the press messenger. So <laughs> <laughs> and then we have some people from the law firms like uh, Kipton S from the uh, former Telecom Kenya. And if, many of you are here. And I just thought, in, in, in using government practice, it's just nice to set the scene as who's here. And maybe I've forgotten some of you. And what will happen is that I will mention your names as we go along. I mean, people like the people with the open data field, Alex Quagway, Alex Alcaz is here, uh, Jay Banner is here. In fact, what, what I would have liked to try is at some point we had time, if we had started this a little earlier, we would have asked everybody yeah, to introduce themselves, themselves yeah. so we know who's here so we can have yeah. a set of set. No, I think because it's going to be animated, uh, sorry, because it's going to be interactive as you speak, before you speak, introduce yourself. Yeah, I want to hear a lot of you, especially from the land of this world, like is here. I want to hear, yeah. uh, I want to hear um, uh, how you want your contracts. <laughs> <laughs> We also have Larry uh, Mado here from the Nation. Um, it's interesting that uh, Nation Media Group took an early interest into this debate and uh, we then decided to see if we can rope him in uh, to assist by facilitation and moderation. So Larry, over to you. Uh, as far as the moderation and facilitation is concerned, um, but it's interactive. We'll be jumping in, it's a debate to be lively. Um, just to rehash some of the ground rules, um, we went through some of them, but you know, this has happened also fast and we're not very organized. So I'll try and recite the ones that I remember. Um, maybe some you can assist with some of the others, but all you can do that. One more introduction. Yeah. Oh, introduction. One more introduction. We have uh, Jay. Who is Jay? He's from Accenture and he's, uh, we probably have given an MNC a contract, so he'll give you the multinational view of things at a point. Thank you. It's good to have somebody here from Accenture. Um, they've been taking a lot of hits in this debate this week. <laughs> um, so rules. Uh, no personal attacks, I think, is the most important rule. Yes, it's a debate. Yes, we're going to have different views. Yes, some of the views might be opposing. Speak about your views with passion, but don't personalize them, please. Yes, personalize them to yourself. That's okay, but do not launch any attack against an individual um, uh, presenter. Let's uh, debate on principles and not on personalities. Um, another rule is try and be short and to the point. No speeches. We said no PowerPoints also. So if you come with a, a flash <laughs> with, a seven, with a seven megabyte presentation that has audio, video, 50 slides, I'm sorry, this is not the platform. So be brief and to the point, make your point, share your story, let it get out, um, and then let somebody else uh, have the opportunity to make their view known. Um, so I think we'll hand over to Larry, and Larry, just as you introduce yourself, um, not that we need any introduction, uh, you might want to let Mike kick off, kick start this. I think uh, Mike's fire in his belly um, is the one that got this started. So let's give him a chance to unleash it. All right, good morning, everybody. Good morning. My name is Larry Njoo. I work with NTV. Uh, I read a lot of the news. 
and uh, I have, I'm a wannabe tech, I like to describe myself as a wannabe tech, which means I have no tech credentials at all, but I try to fake it by speaking to people like you, and that is why I'm here. I hope this, I, I followed this conversation on Twitter for a few days, it just seems to be growing into something bigger, and it, it was fascinating to see Paul and the others suggest, why don't we have a forum? And they said, why don't you monitor us? Fine, let's do it, we can record it for TV, and we're recording it for TV. So that's sort of how it came into, it came into place. I'm sure the background has already been given. So I'd like to start with Mike, who was...